The aircraft came flying in from that direction. Why see the hills in a distance? It passed over those hills and came over this valley. And uh, according to what the pirates were saying, they were keeping 5,500 feet above sea level. Uh, where we are standing is the first point of impact, where the uh, left-hand side wheel hit the ground. And having hit the ground, uh, the, the blades, one of the blades struck the tree there and struck the, the hillside. Then the, the aircraft, of course, became uncontrollable. It uh, hit the nose where those people are standing and started breaking apart as it somersaulted across the, the next valley we shall see uh, until the, the, the wreckage rested across uh, the gorge as we shall see. Okay. I think would have caused this. Uh, the, you see, first of all it was in the evening. The information we have is that it was in the evening. And uh, according to the voices on the cockpit voice recorder, I think there, were, uh, there was an element of clouds covering this hill. So if you have darkness coming in, and you have the, 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 the clouds also sitting on the hill, uh, the, the, you, know, you don't have a lot of choice. If you know the area very well, you'd be better off flying at a safe altitude above the known elevation. So you have to know the elevation here, on your route, and then add their safety, uh, safety margin, so that you fly above that known uh, published um, elevation uh, plus a safety margin above that. Okay. So, uh, you really, you have to know. You have to know the place. If you don't know the place, you are likely to, 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 to get into this situation. Do you think the sudden up, the sudden appearance of this uh, hill was just sudden, or it, 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 you could have avoided it? I I believe that the the crew did not see this hill. Yeah, that is one. If they had seen it, there was every chance to avoid it by going higher or even turning back. The valley was empty; you could turn back to the valley yeah. if they saw it. So they didn't see it. I believe they didn't know it was there. Okay. Because if they had seen it, they wouldn't have hit it. If they knew it was there, they would, they would probably have picked a, a safer level. Okay. Uh, I believe they didn't know it was there, and so they don't know what hit them. So we, we, at what point are we standing now? When you tell me where Kenya is, Sudan is, and Uganda, which, which how would we stand? We are in Uganda, and uh, Kenya, when we get to the... The, the, the upper level there, you will be able to see the side of Kenya. On this side, uh, on this side, all this is still Uganda, but we, we are going to see parts of Sudan. Uh, I, I, over there, that valley, yeah. this, this depth of valley actually continues to the Sudan. So the continuation of that valley goes to the Sudan. Okay. Uh, on top of the hill, I will be able to show you one, one mountain that is clear in the Sudan, and then the Zuria mountain, which is at the border with the Kenya. Okay. So Uganda is actually tapering to a point uh, later on, just before we reach a new site. Okay. That's where Uganda kind of ends up in a horn. Okay. This is the tire. So yeah, what? This is the, the, the left hand tire. Uh, you know, in a, in a aircraft technology, we call it a, a landing gear. Mm. Uh, so this wheel um, is the one that hit that got the first impact here and immediately snapped off and it remained here. Where, why are the, the rest of the aircraft somersaulted onwards because of, of, of speed, impact, inertia, momentum? Yeah. This, this tire remained here. Okay. Until the, the one inch later on helped themselves to go and make shoes. <laughs> after, after the impact down there, uh, the, the, the cabin, the pilot's cabin, disintegrated here, disintegrated around this place. So the rest of the body, because of inertia, it, it was thrown across that gorge to the other side. Some assaulted and finally rested um, where you are seeing the final heap. That's where it rested finally. All this, all this disintegration, uh, the aircraft was not under control. Pirates had already died. Uh, so it was just momentum throwing it 
because of the what of the rotations speed so the debris was just being thrown around by momentum we are now across the uh, the gorge the gorge down here yeah. so yeah. what how would you describe this scenario see as, as, as you can see the um, this ground across the gorge acted as a, a partial break yeah. when the aircraft came from assaulting it uh, cut the other tree as you have seen fell here some pits remained here, some uh, bits remained here so my source the dawn the rest of the hero acted as the final break and the, the, the final wreckage rested over there yeah. when the aircraft uh, got into contact with the ground and the trees mm -hmm. and the fuel tanks broke off all the pieces that were being left behind started burning so it started so it burning from right the all, other side right from the other side it was burning all the way up to the final place where most of the burning took place. How come it didn't burn? This one, no. It was already empty. It broke off. Yeah. You know, another thing to explain. Yeah. Is that at one time, the soldiers tried to collect the debris from all over the place. And they tried to keep it together. Yeah. Because they had been told that we were, we were coming to airlift the these pieces and get them out of the, the wilderness here. So they tried to, to gather these pieces. Uh, you may find that where they are now located is not where they were immediately after the crash. Okay. What reached here, finally, is uh, the main gearbox and the rotor head, the uh, main rotor hub and, and pieces of blades that were still uh, surviving the, the, the area impacts and the engines. So all this heap, all this heap, uh, the main structure, the main structure rested here. The aircraft was equipped to fly uh, even at a very, very high altitude. When you are very high and you need oxygen, at least for the meters above sea level, it's close to 20,000 feet. Okay. 